Matt McCurry of KJAG Radio and Idea Magazine, sitting here with Tom Maxwell of Hell Yeah. We're uh, a few hours from taking a stage here, Tom. Mm -hmm. Man, you guys been on the road. Is it is it getting monotonous or is it? Uh, actually, this has probably been one of the most exciting kick-ass touring cycles that I've ever been a part of and definitely the band has been a part of probably since the conception of the band. We've been going non-stop. Uh, I started off with uh, Avenged Sevenfold and head over, head, headed over to Europe and did a bunch of festival dates, came back and did, you know, some, a few, not many, but a couple headlining gigs and then jumped on this uh, tour with Five Finger and Volbeat and nothing more and it's, it's, it's been a really good tour, man. Like, people have been like just turning out in droves and the excitement's in the air and people are really excited. I mean, you're getting, you know, four killer bands that have a lot of momentum going on right now and, uh, the fans are, are extremely excited. You'll see tonight. Have much. you guys really seen seen the crowd that you guys are expecting? Or uh... yeah, yeah, it's uh, you know we've we've turned a corner with this new record with Blood for Blood. We really wanted to kind of dismiss the, the perception people have had of us in the past few records because of certain songs that we may have put out that. Were kind of experimental for us, you know. It, it, it wasn't like, uh, you know, premeditated or anything like that. But like, you know, songs like "Alcohol and Ass" and "Hell of a Time" and you know, your drink, drag drunks and all these cowboy, rootin' tootin', you know, truck driving fucking songs that I really don't give a shit about. You know, I'm not that guy. And some of the fans might be upset that I have to say that, or maybe other guys in my band wouldn't agree to it. But that's just me. You know, I mean, like. You know, when me and Chad first initially started this band, before anybody else was even involved, you know, the blood for blood music, that's the type of music I wanted to do. I wanted to do fucking raunchy ass, fucking hard heavy metal that had a lot of ups and downs, whether it be emotional outbursts or just pure heavy all the fucking time. It didn't matter to me as long as it was like pure raw emotion and real and, and, and had that great recipe to it, you know, and, you know, when we parted ways with our former guitar player, Greg, and then, and then with Bob, who never really was a part of the recording or, or writing of the, of the music anyway, I saw it as an opportunity to see my vision musically with this new record and uh, the critics have been loving it and the fans are loving it, you know, they're coming back saying this is the best album we've ever done and this is the record that they've been waiting for a lot of the you know the journalists out there have been saying the same thing and it's just the radio has been embracing it you know where you know moth is, is is climbing the charts it's expected to be a top 10 probably within the next week or so and um you know i can't ask for anything better man it's just and yeah to get back to what you said you can see it in the crowd you know when we play moth now it's like you know, by the time we get into the second verse, it's just a sea of cell phones and lighters just in the air, like it looks like a Christmas tree, and it's just overwhelming, you know. And so we're gaining a lot of new fans on this tour, and, you know, at the same time, you know, a lot of our core audiences are here as well. I think so. rock music's kind of hitting the cornerstone, and uh, people people really need to stand themselves out from the rest. I agree with you. I think, I think you're right in a lot of ways with that. I think that... Bands need to dig deep, and they need to reinvent themselves, and they really need to do some soul searching musically and make records that, from song one to the last song, not just a couple tracks and the rest of shit, because that's why people don't buy records, man. Right. They go into iTunes and they're like, well, I only like this song, or I only like that song, and the rest of the record can fuck itself. It's like they don't care. It's a body of work. And I think most bands, I listen to these radio stations today and I'm hearing bands that I can't even, I don't, I, I can't differentiate who they are. You know, one sounds, I thought one band I heard the other day was Seven Dust and it wasn't Seven Dust, it was, it was their formula, it was their style, it was their everything. There's a thousand Nickelback bands, there's oh, yeah. a new Slipknot band showing up every once in a while and and it's just like there's no, there's no, uh, it's just shit. Yeah. It's just unfocused and un, no passion, there's no, and yeah, it is. It's it is mainstream. It's just it's most of these new bands are writing for that single. They want to, you know, chart. You know, they want to get like on their, on on whatever radio station or or try to. And let me tell you something, man. There's a lot of competition out there, and unless you have something that 
really speaks volumes and can separate you from the rest of the pack, man. You're just going to fall into that rest of that, you know, follow the sheep. Absolutely. You know, I, if I were you, I would stray away from the I herd. wish you guys yeah. the best of luck. Thank you, and man. Uh, I, know, I know you guys are starting to do great things. I know it kind of sat stagnant there for a little while. It was a murky water for us, man. But like, you know, like I said, it all comes down to the infrastructure of your band, we had to, you know, part ways with those guys in order for us to continue and be happy and, and, and really enjoy what we're doing. We got two new guys in the band that are just fucking brilliant and great people. And and again, to go back to the record, man, the records, you know, says it all, you know, and it's really, it really helped us, to, you know, take a turn. I, I, I definitely it. thank you for your time and my pleasure. You bet. And uh, until next time, this is Matt McCurry, KJAG Radio. Absolutely.